What's wrong, boys? Is all that extra testosterone forcing you to fantasize about pulling on my hair? I don't know why you are so obsessed about my appearance. I don't really think I resemble Michael Jackson, although I have been having a few bad hair days. You know, by no means do I like this mop of a hairdo, but there's a reason. It gives me extra senses. I am more aware of my surroundings, therefore I can tell when I'm surrounded by a bunch of juice head monkeys. Ooh, ooh. Greg, the two main arguments of your brick head viewers contradict themselves. Considering the law of thermodynamics is from 1824, maybe you should have looked up what the law of thermodynamics was before you made that point instead of just parroting bro science. To me, there's almost no point to respond to Greg's video because the loudest voice in the room is the one that's heard. Also, there's a saying, shoot first, ask questions later. You know, a dead person can't really defend themselves in court. And when hundreds of thousands of people see his video about me and only a few thousand see mine, you know, I'm already in a pretty tough position. So, regardless of who's right or wrong, hint, I'm right. Greg has been very irresponsible in the matter he's gone about addressing my video, and I don't know if he does this to other people. I did have respect for Greg before this. You know, he's hardworking, he's been on YouTube for many years, knows how to cater to his audience, and also knows quite a bit about sticking needles in his tushy. And Greg, you do understand that injecting testosterone offsets the negative estrogenic effects of conventional foods. Do you even work with natural clients? Either way, I think he shifted gears in the way he's conducting his channel, especially considering he ignored half the points I made in my video. Uh, like many on YouTube, Greg has started doing more drama-oriented, sensationalist videos that don't really contain logic and they lack effort. You know, judging by the comments on his video, it did seem like he went a bit harsh, at least compared to other people. And you know, with the way he does his content now, I can imagine he doesn't have hours and hours and hours to write a script and actually debunk my points, especially when he's making, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars consulting people every day on his ad revenue, but for him to say and actually tell people to unsubscribe from my channel and subscribe to his channel, very childish, very immature, very condescending, and it also demeans the viewers to the point where you're trying to make a decision for them. So, I mean, I think that left a sour taste in many people's mouths, including my own. The study is so old, they spell body weight with a freaking hyphen. Are you kidding me? 1956. Frank, you're embarrassing your subscribers. Whoever's left, you got to go. You're listening to a man quoting research from 1956 to support his studies. 1956. Listen, Greg, tell me, when are your 800,000 subscribers coming over to watch me? What Greg is using to disprove my study the law of thermodynamics was from 1824. Little bit of a contradiction. No, the laws of thermodynamics, no, they don't apply to Frank DeFuno. You know, I'll respect his 1800 study that he went over with a bunch of skeletons. I mean, at least the people involved in my study might actually still be breathing. On top of that, the law of thermodynamics applies to a closed system, a metal box. You know, not a living being that has many different active components. You can literally Google, does thermodynamics apply to diet, and find recent studies that say it's not a definite law and there is variance. Now, I write my own scripts, I do all my own videos, I do all my own research. I can't imagine a guy like Greg is doing all of that stuff. You know, he probably just sat down for 20, 25 minutes to do this video, maybe had someone else edit it, you know, two videos a day isn't super crazy for the type of content he's producing, but it would take, you know, five to six hours per day to do really in-depth videos that probably wouldn't get much more views. You know, it's not educational, it's entertainment. You know, you can have both quantity and quality, but it doesn't fit into Greg's current schedule. And that's why most of Greg's new large audience is a bunch of low IQ monkeys that spout memes. They're not learning things from his videos, they're just reinforcing their current ideas. And I guess there's two ways you could beat someone. You could tear them down and 
let people just stay how they are, or you can lift yourself up above them, show that you have more to offer, and actually educate people. But that's a little more work involved, buddy. Uh, what insults me is that Greg attempts to discredit me at face value, you know, appeal to authority bullshit, when he doesn't know half as much about health as me, and I think half would actually be quite generous. I don't need a cocktail of drugs to keep a head full of hair or a lean physique. One also very contradictory belief is bodybuilders acknowledging they need protein to build muscle. They understand that there is a nutritional component outside of calories to gaining mass, gaining weight. So why wouldn't there be other aspects of nutrition, perhaps vitamins, minerals, fatty acids, that have effects on body composition? Just like your muscles use protein to increase their size, your cells and tissues need vitamins to function as well. No, there in fact isn't more to it than calories in, calories out. Now that's the bottom line. I think I made the point fairly clear in my original video that calories in calories out is roughly correct but when you change the macronutrient sources and nutrient density of the food it's not accurate down to the individual calorie and that's the bottom line fucking the protein fat and carbohydrate ratios you're consuming are just as important, if not more important, than the calories. That would mean that as long as you get your macro percents in line, say it's 20% this, 20% that, and 60% this, or 30, 30, 40, then you can eat whatever you want. Now I'm gonna have 10,000 calories a day as long as I eat a certain percentage of each macros. No, and it would also imply that if you didn't eat enough calories, then maybe you're not gonna lose weight. Oh, you only eat protein, you only eat carbs, you only eat fat? Well, you can't lose weight because you didn't eat any of the other macros. No, if the calories is below maintenance, you will lose weight even if all the calories are from sugar or from fat or from protein. You're still going to lose weight. Calories in, calories out. Now listen, Greg, I don't know if your diet's lacking omega-3, your brain isn't wired correctly, but you're putting words in my mouth. You're implying that I said macronutrients are the sole determining factor of one's weight loss. All I said was that it would be more accurate. Then he says that you'll lose weight if calories are below maintenance regardless of macronutrients, which is true, but the point in my video is that someone eating mostly protein will lose far more weight than someone eating mostly carbs, including water weight, including fat, including improving your body composition. And Greg, since bodybuilders need protein to build muscle, don't you need that protein to keep your body composition? So let's say their health issues come from being morbidly obese. You lose weight, blood pressure is going to get better. Chance of type 2 diabetes is going to get better. Chance of getting a heart attack going down. What more do you want? That's the whole point of losing weight, is to be healthier. Yes, we want to look better, of course, but it's your health markers that's most important. If you're morbidly obese, you're 100 pounds overweight, you need to lose weight, and calories in and calories out is how you're gonna do that. You can't just say, oh, I'm just gonna eat a bunch of food that's healthy in these percents, and I'll follow the carnivore diet, and I'll lose weight because all I'm eating is freaking steaks. No! Actually, yes. That's absolutely correct because over 95% of my clients aren't obese, they aren't overweight, and they still have drastic health issues that are only corrected when addressing nutrient balance and environmental pollutants. If you're obese and you only eat grass-fed steak, you will lose weight regardless of calories. I don't say it's healthy just because the plan follows calories in, calories out. I say you're going to lose weight. He's contradicting himself in his own video. He's saying his diet plan isn't healthy, that it helps you lose weight, but he insinuated earlier that losing weight improves health markers. I think anyone would agree that you're trying to portray yourself as a healthy fitness individual to your viewers while shoveling agrochemical-laden crap down their throats, yet you think the sun is harmful. Do I say that artificial sweeteners are healthy? Or do I say, hey, it's probably not gonna kill you. Is it worse than the sun? At least it's not giving you skin cancer. Saying the sun causes skin cancer is a very rudimentary understanding. I've done about half a dozen videos explaining that dietary and lifestyle factors are the real cause for cancer and that the sun can act as a catalyst. That sun does not give you cancer. And Greg, where are you gonna get the maple syrup for your French toast or the wheat for the bread if 
you can't go out in the woods or the forest and get hit by the sun. This whole video is an appeal to authority. I can critique just about every single sentence that comes out of this guy's mouth because it's largely based around conventional dietary bro science bullcrap. Try racing me on a bicycle. You think you're so fit? Race me sometimes. You think you have better blood pressure than me or better blood work? Probably not. <clears throat> I got a funner idea. Let's see who can dick down girls better if you want to turn this into a cock measuring contest. Like, oh, race me on a bicycle. Dude, what? let me go get some of Lance Armstrong's blood. You probably got more shit running through your system than him anyway. Uh, so thank you guys for watching me today. Um, I didn't really enjoy making this, but uh, you guys are probably going to bother me about it. I was a little, you know, most of the time, when people critique me, it's obviously very disingenuous, but th this was a bit sour because of, of the way his viewers follow him and, and the way they, it's just low IQ. It's, it's way too, way too, uh, too much nonsense. Uh, I'm freezing my balls off out here. You guys know how to support me. Check out frank com if you want to learn more uh, about my book, whatever it may be. And uh, we have a bunch of sales on Frankie's Strange Meat this week. You should definitely check out. And I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video. I think we're going to make a chopped cheese, New York style.